quick video guys uh, Nacho Man I got your slabs done got the uh, dark green and the toxic yellow and black they're both with black I have to say they came out pretty flawless This one's gonna look somewhat like my uh, my first or my second knife that I did. The dark green and black. So that one's ready to go for you, Mr. Nacho Man. And the uh, toxic yellow. And black. Pretty flawless. I took a little corner off of this one. It was a little, a little boogered up, so I figured I'd sand it and let you see what it looked like. Ooh, that light is bright. That one's gonna look cool. Call that one the yellow jacket. There we go. There we go. Good clear picture. I put a black liner on it. Actually, technically, there is enough here that matches the black here, so you can actually flip it if you want to. Like uh, Judd over there, JG Guns, I made it so you could flip it. Um, yep, I did the same on the green, too. I actually have a thicker top layer here you can see I think I lost my come on light yeah I think you've got a matching layer of green versus black so you can flip it if you want to so those are for the nacho man those are completed I'll be sending those out to you uh, first part of next week buddy Good slabs, good thick slabs. Um, I asked uh, the tenacious question about being so hard. So I actually took it apart because I'm doing the scales on it. Um, this piece is just really stiff anyways, so I don't think it's going to change. It was bent right about here. So I put it in the vise and straightened it out and then bent it down here at the base. So hopefully that gives some more leverage when I'm pushing on it to free up the blade. We'll see once I get it back together. Um, I just really got a rough cut of the slabs, the scales together. Drilled the screw holes. And I only put the... Uh, clip holes on this side for how I carry it tip up right hand I'm only gonna put those holes in it I'll have to give it to you guys you pimping guys uh, tough thumbs and Menovade and Alexander Dietz, Dietz I think his name is uh, this is tough I mean you really gotta have a steady hand I, I've, I've already screwed it up where it doesn't it doesn't line up yep, see it doesn't line up just perfect I mean, it's it's easier for me to get my hands on my cardo, so it's not a big deal. This is my first try doing a scales on a handle, so uh, put some comments in, guys, and tell me what you think I should carve into here. What kind of pattern I should do? Should I just clean it up and smooth it out, or should I do some kind of Anzo thing or some kind of random thing on there? And that'll go back on my tenacious yeah it has a black back this is that purple and teal stuff or bluish purple and teal so all right guys tenacious mr nacho slabs take care have a good night guys